My name is Hugh Willoughby. I'm a distinguished research professor in the Department of Earth and Environment here at Florida International University. I started working with tropical cyclones when I was in the Navy. I flew typhoon reconnaissance out in the Pacific. Uh, for much of my career, I worked at NOAA's Hurricane Research Division, where I was the director from 1995 to 2002. In 2002, I came here to FIU, uh, and my biggest accomplishment here at FIU is starting our meteorology program. Meteorologically, Sandy isn't, is not unprecedented. Uh, examples from the past are uh, the New England hurricane of 1938, the Great Hurricane of 1944, and to some extent Donna of 1960. So we see this sort of thing once a generation or maybe not quite that often. The, uh, the currents in the Atlantic Ocean move heat northward and uh, the, the, the strength of those currents varies cyclically. Uh, when the currents are strong, the, the water of the, uh, in the Atlantic is salty and, and warm. And when the currents are weak, it's relatively fresh and cool. In the warm phase, we tend to get more hurricanes. It's, it's mainly because uh, uh, when the ocean transports more heat, the atmosphere transports less. And as a result, the wind shear that keeps hurricanes from strengthening is stronger in the cool phase and weaker in the warm phase. Now we're back in an active phase. It's probably gonna go on for another decade or two. This cycle tends to obscure the underlying increase in the intensity of the strongest hurricanes that we expect from global warming. So it makes understanding the climate more complicated, but as I tell my students, we're dealing with an unevenly heated rotating fluid and we expect it to be uh, uh, strange and unpredictable and the interactions to be real complicated.